All right, now I'm getting ready to lay out my first wall, which is gonna be on this side of the shed. It's gonna have two windows. That's irrelevant right now. But uh, the first thing we need to do um, to lay those things out is to get our, uh, you know, the box that the frame is gonna sit on square. And we do that by snapping chalk lines, which I've done here. And you see the guy going all the way down there. And the way you get that square is you pick your favorite side and start with that guy. So I picked this side since this is where the door is going to be. So the door is going to be here. We're going to be seeing this side. Those are the two sides. Not so much. Um, so I wanted to go off of this side. So I measured three and a half inches uh, from this edge over and three and a half inches on that edge. And then I just snapped a line from one point to the other. So that gave me a point to go off of. Then since I wanted this other side to be the nicer side, uh, I then went and, uh, and did this one. Um, but the way you do that is you take three and a half inches um, from this edge over, but then you need to uh, figure out where exactly your line's going to fall there. So again, use the Pythagorean theorem, which uses an easier method. There's the, the 3, 4, 5, or the 6, 8, 10, whichever, whichever triangle you feel like calculating. But what it means is you measure uh, three feet from um, your three and a half inch mark here, over. And I think you can see it right there. So that's three feet. Maybe that's four feet. Can't remember. But one of these is three feet, one of these is four feet. So then I measured a, uh, a line over here. I'm in the sun, I'm in the shadows there. Um, I measured over here. And uh, then from that point to that point over there is supposed to be five feet. And so wherever that falls on the line over here is where you snap your line. So wherever you make a, a long line here, and wherever the five foot mark falls on this long line, you draw a line that way. And then you snap your line. And so then you go around the whole perimeter doing that. Uh, it makes it so that this corner right here is nice. This corner right here is not so nice, but it's nicer than that corner over there. Um, if every, you know, if you're like me and an amateur and everything's not completely square. Um, but this makes sure that the frame is going to be square. So that's what, that's what I did there. So now I'm going to start cutting up that wood. Uh, I got my 2x12s to make my window headers, structural headers. And I got all the studs over there to, uh, to frame out the first wall. So I'm going to start cutting and get down to business. One more thing. Um, in order to figure out what I need to cut, I got I went to Walmart and got this composition graph composition notebook, and it's fantastic. Um, you see, so you can draw everything to scale and see what you need where, and then you can calculate your dimensions for your lumber. So I highly recommend it. So now I'm gonna start cutting, and then I'll get back to you with uh, me putting stuff up or laying out the frame, I suppose. I've got my wood cut now, and before I can lay everything out, I had to mark my uh, top and bottom plates. So that's what I've got here. I've got them screwed together on their sides, and just marked out everything um, that I think I'll need. And if we travel on here, it's a little easier. So this is where like one of the windows is going to sit. That's the header. And that thing is two 2x12s. Two cut to the right length that I need and there's a piece of half inch plywood sandwich in there so that it's the right width for a 2x4 to go on the bottom. So that guy will sit there and then if you see my little configuration here I've got a king stud on the outside, a jack stud uh, holding up the header and then a cripple stud down on the bottom and so learning the terminology was interesting. Kings, jacks, cripples, blah, blah, blah. But that's what they use, so that's what I'm using. And got the same thing over here. Uh, 
so now I just need to lay everything out properly and we will see what it looks like. So I've got this laid out now. Um, so I started with the, the rough openings for the windows. Put the headers up there where they're supposed to be. Then put the, uh, the king studs down, the jack studs, and then the cripples. And then I put the little sill for it. So there's two of those. And then I just put the normal studs 16 inches on center. And when I had drawn this, um, there were there was supposed to be another stud right next to the king stud there. Um, but putting this all together in real life, uh, I don't think that that's really necessary to have two full length studs right next to each other, especially with that header. So I just uh, took those out. So instead of that being 16 inches from there, it's like uh, 18. So I don't think it's a big deal, especially for a shed. It's not going to be holding up a lot of weight. Um, so that's all all done. Well, it's all laid out and ready for me to fasten together. So I'll be doing that now. All right, here's the first wall, all framed up. See the windows in there with the king stud right next to the jack stud, right next to the cripples, windowsill. And everything went together fine. There's some scrap wood in there. That's just extra cleaning up. Uh, the only thing that went wrong was these headers. I had assumed, silly me, that like most lumber, like the dimensions were a half inch shorter than what's what the nominal uh, dimensions are. So two by twelve was really one and a half by eleven and a quarter. So my jack studs, I was short a quarter of an inch, and that wouldn't do very well. So I had to recut those with fresh pieces of wood. It's very sad. But other than that, everything's looking good. Frame is square. And I just need to put some sheathing on it before I stand it up. So till the next wall. So here is the first wall uh, kind of braced up. It's not securely on there, but these braces will hold it in place for the time being. And there's not much to see here except for the, the sheathing. Um, but if we come over here, see that there's a brace going up there on that side. And there's another long brace going up to the top. And I used a level to make sure it was plumb. And a friend to help lift this because this is super heavy. Especially with all that plywood and those headers. It just wasn't fun. And, uh, but we got it up there for the time being. Now I'm going to work on this back wall here, or what will be the back wall, the wall right next to it on this side. 